Hey, this is Ramin from Petit Petit. Today I'm going to show you how to work with RSS feeds. So let's open up the feeds uh, application from Petit Petit. You see all of these articles here sorted by time. It's about uh, 310 for this October. Um, I can scroll through them like this. Um, I can certainly open them up uh, and uh, swipe through the articles here. Um, but actually this is uh, way too many to read. So what I can do is I can uh, go into a list view here and cluster them uh, by topic. So cluster here, text base. And you see now it reduces all of um, the articles here to different topics. Uh, also about um, different uh, languages. So this is German, but there are also uh, English topics. I can jump right into one topic here, for example, mobile phones, uh, mostly about Samsung. Um, and then I can open up one of these articles here. Um, and you see I get this article uh, about that Galaxy camera, um, but I'm too lazy to read it. So what I can do is I can tap this little icon and I get a little overview about uh -huh, Android uh, powered camera CMOS. Uh, presented uh, at IFA with uh, Jelly Bean and Quad Core, so that's quite nice. Okay, let's uh, go into this. Um, so it seems to be a nice article here. What I can do is I can open it up in the Petit Petit browser. So it uh, actually opens in the browser here. And I have this article open now. Um, so you can read through this in the browser. It's a WebKit based browser. But you also can see here um, related things, uh, which is emails and so on. Uh, you can also see uh, people who might be interested in that article. So um, we are understanding who is interested from your art, uh, contacts uh, to read that article. And I can long press uh, on them, for example, and share that website with him so that basically uh, he gets the article uh, posted right away. So this is how PTPT, the slicer, the RSS feed and the messenger play together. And I hope you will like it and want to test it. Please beta test PTPT. Thank you.